If you want to learn how to make amazing product visualization animations like these inside of Unreal Engine 5, then this course is going to be perfect for you. Because in this course, we're going to be learning the basics of product animations inside of Unreal Engine 5. And we're going to be covering the whole workflow, including importing the models in Unreal Engine 5, texturing the models, lighting the whole scene, creating a whole studio environment around the scene, and then finally animating, rendering, and color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, this course is going to be perfect for all those who want to understand the workflow of a professional 3D artist and take their product visualization game to the next level. And not only you will learn the whole workflow you will also have two realistic animations uh, by the end of this course to maybe add to your portfolio or post on social media so if you want to take your unreal engine 5 product visualization game to the next level then this course is perfect for you enroll now and i will see you in class right so next we're going to be making this apple watch animation so i'm just going to play it um and you're going to see this is the first shot so the light is moving towards the watch and then we have the second shot so basically no light is moving in this however it's a close-up shot and then we have this display which um, it's just not a texture. It's not just a simple texture. It's basically an emissive material with a texture. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And so basically, it's a pretty simple animation. The lights are not moving for the most part. In the first shot, the lights are moving. And after that, it's just the camera moving. Uh, so yeah, this was a tech. This was text added by uh, added in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to show you how to sort of post process the, this inside of DaVinci Resolve as well. So I'm going to open Unreal Engine 5. And here you can see the project. Uh, which uh, the original project uh, ignore this texture by the way I was actually working on another project so I sort of swapped that texture out um, but yeah we're going to be adding the one which you saw in this video right so I'm just going to create a new um, level in this project so this is the same project which we used for the AirPods animation uh, so you can just use that same project just go to file new level and then just empty level create and I'm just going to press ctrl s right away so that we save it Apple watch you Right, that's perfect. Uh, and I'm gonna do the exact same process which we did previously uh, for the AirPods. Um, so I'm simply gonna go to Window, Environment Light Mixer, and I'm gonna create all these lights to sort of have a basic lighting setup. And I'm just gonna go to my light, Skylight, Real-Time Capture, let's turn it on. And now we need, uh, we basically need an, Air, um, an Apple Watch model, right? So where exactly do we get the model? It's pretty simple, you just go to the internet, you search for Apple Watch, um apple watch 3d model right you just go to sketchfab um and essentially you can simply what do you call it you can just use any of these websites now some of these models are going to be free some of these models are going to be paid so you can just choose whichever one you want i think in the original scene i actually used um the model which i used was a free one let me just show you um it was where is it um all right, so for some reason it's not showing up here, but if you just go to Sketchfab, if you just open Sketchfab in a new uh, window, in a new tab, and I just search for Apple Watch, now it should come up. Um, yeah, this one, this model right here, I used this one in that original scene. Um, but actually, you know what, I, I, I wanna try something else. I wanna try a different model uh, to sort of show you guys that you, um, Actually, I would not recommend you guys to even copy this model. I would recommend you guys to use something which is a little more creative, something which is a little more different. So in this scene, I'm going to be using, uh, where did that go? I think it was in this one as well. Yeah, this one. I'm going to be using this Apple Watch Ultra model because I think this looks um, better, to be honest. And the texturing is going to be a little complex in this. So I, I want to show you guys how to make this one. And if you know how to make this one, then you can easily make this one. This is much simpler than that. Uh, yeah so you're going to see this model is pretty detailed as well also all credits for this model go to this person uh i think you do need to attribute when you are using this model and I, I don't think you can use it for commercial purposes so just keep that in mind and also for this model all the credits go to stc performance right so let's just download this model uh so the way you do that is by simply uh, first you got to make sure that whichever model you want to download it has this uh, download sign next to it that means it's a free 3d model if it has this dollar sign next to it then it that means it's paid um, and if it doesn't have anything for example this model right here this doesn't have any sign on the top that means you can't download it whatsoever right uh, so you can just go to here you just go here download 3d model and then you can just choose any uh, sort of um, any of these right uh, but in blender we're going to be using blender to convert this into an fbx file uh, but in blender you can't really open usdz files by default i think you do need an add-on for that so i'm just going to be using the gitf file so i'm just going to download this and 
so it's downloading and you're gonna see uh, the process is gonna be pretty similar in this as well you just download 3d model and you do have a dot blend file for this so it's much simpler otherwise you can download gitf for this as well uh, if you don't have blender by the way you can use any other 3d software uh, but it is generally recommended to use blender with unreal engine 5 because it's uh the workflow sort of uh, the workflow is very seamless between blender and unreal engine 5. anyway so i'm just going to open this and you're going to see that we have a textures folder with, in which we have all the textures however we're not going to be using these uh the only texture which i'm interested in is um what do you call it the actual watch face so i'm just going to click this button right here so that we can see the textures which we can't for some reason so i'm just going to be dragging this folder on my desktop now hopefully we'll be able to see it yeah uh, so i'm only interested in this texture right here so this is the watch face uh, you can get watch faces from the internet as well if you want uh, you can just go to the internet and search for apple watch face and i wouldn't recommend you to download any of these because the because the fact that this has uh, most of these watch faces have reflections on the side which really interfere with your uh with your 3d model right so i wouldn't recommend you to use that i would actually recommend you to use a watch face from a website which i found yeah this one watchface.ly i think that's what it's called watchfacely.com yeah that's what it's called you can just browse watch faces and then you can just download any one of these uh you can just screenshot any one of these or just download it and as an image and then you can use them in your renders right uh, although you'll have to check if you can if you have to like give credits to them or, or something because um, i'm not exactly sure about, about that right uh so once we have uh yeah after that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be going to my apple watch ultra folder and then we're going to be dragging both of these the gitf file and the dot bin file let me just make a folder on my desktop i'm just going to call it um i'm just going to call it watch ultra and in this folder, I'm going to be dragging all both of these files. Watch Ultra. And so basically, we have the model right here. Uh, so I'm going to be using Blender to import all of these models. Uh, import this model. So I'm just going to open Blender. You can also use any other 3D software uh, which supports opening the file which you have downloaded. I'm just going to delete everything. And then I'm going to be going to File, Import, and then GIDF and then desktop and wherever you saved the 3d model sorry oops my bad so right here scene.gitf open that and it should hopefully come up and it's perfect right so luckily we have separate objects for all of these for all of the individual parts of uh what do you call it this watch usually what happens is that a lot of times what happens is that you get different uh, you get one whole object for the whole watch so texturing is a little difficult in that but i mean Honestly, in this one, it's pretty simple, right? So now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be making sure that all the normals are correct. And after that, we're going to be exporting this as FPX from Blender and then importing it inside of Unreal Engine 5. So I'm just going to click right here. Let's go to face orientation. Make sure that everything is blue. So I am noticing that this thing right here is red, right? So I'm just going to select it and let's see if. Yeah, so let's try to move it and let's see if everything is Okay, so it's not actually that file, that, that object. Let's try and move it. Right, so it's this whole thing inside there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press, with that selected, I'm going to press tab. I'm going to press A to select everything. Uh, you can also press Alt Z so that we can see what's happening. Uh, it's, this is basically the X-ray view. Um, I think it's called the wireframe view. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, so with everything selected, um, you press A to select everything, by the way. You just go to Mesh, Normals, and then Flip. Right. Now, if I just press tab to go out of edit mode and then I'm going to press alt Z to get out of my extra mode, now you're going to see that that part is blue as well. And this whole thing, which was on the inside, if I just click right here, oops, my bad. This whole thing, never mind. Why can't I select it? Yeah, this whole thing is, is blue inside, right? So that's perfect. Make sure that everything else is blue as well. So I think the normals are fine. Let's export this as an FPX. So I'm just going to turn this face orientation off. And now I'm going to go to file. Actually, you know what? Before that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be, I'm just going to be rotating this watch so that it's correct. I'm just going to be right clicking the Sketchfab model, right click, select hierarchy, and then I'm going to be rotating it like that. You can hold control to sort of rotate it in increments. So I think negative 35 degrees is perfect. And now I think we're good. 
So this is just uh, this just makes it easier for us to sort of animate this model uh, in Unreal Engine 5 because the normals are all correct, right? So I'm just going to go to File, Export, FBX, and then I'm just going to be exporting it in the same folder. I'm just going to call it Watch Ultra, F Export FBX. And now we're going to go, uh, just make sure that it's exported. Now I'm just going to go back to Unreal Engine 5, and I'm going to be right-clicking the content folder. I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to call it Apple Watch underscore Ultra, right? And now I'm just going to go to uh, my file browser, file, file explorer, and, I'm, and then I'm going to be dragging the Watch Ultra FBX file right here. And so let's import all, but make sure that skeletal mesh is not turned on. If this is turned on, it's going to sort of mess up the model. And make sure all your settings are uh, as you see on my screen. So just import all. And then once it's imported, I'm just going to ignore these errors. Now you're going to see that all the materials are imported as well as all the meshes. Um, and so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the first mesh, shift select the last mesh so that all, so that all of them are selected. And now we can just drag them inside of our scene. Perfect. So now I'm just going to be, firstly, I'm just going to move it up. Something like that. And right now the model is pretty small, so I'm just going to be scaling it up. Scale it up like that. And make sure that everything is imported correctly, which it is, thankfully. Sometimes Unreal Engine does have some weird issues. Yeah, but we're good this time. Perfect.